a mass grave uncovered in Derbyshire, may be the burial site of Viking Great Army War Dead, a new study found. Among the bones were Viking weapons and artifacts, including an axe, several knives, and five silver pennies dating to the period 872 to 875 of The archaeologists have also found four sacrificial remains to accompany the warriors into the afterlife. Repton was a significant royal and ecclesiastical centre in the Anglo-Saxon Kingdom Mercia. However, it became a Viking stronghold for the army, known to the Anglo-Saxons as the Great Heathen Army, after they seized it. It was the location of a double monastery for men and women ruled by an abbess, established in the third quarter of the 7th century. At the time it would have been on the banks of the River Trent. Historical records state the Viking Great Army wintered in Repton in 873 AD and drove the Mercian king into exile to Paris. Now new research by the University of Bristol's Department of Anthropology and Archaeology found the bones are all consistent with a date in the late 9th century. This undermined the previous theory that some of the skeletal remains in the charnel, the building where bodies are deposited, originated from the monastic cemeteries. Excavations led by archaeologists Martin Biddle and Berth Jolby Biddle at St. Whiston's Church in Repton in the 1970s and 1980s discovered several Viking graves. They also found a charnel deposit of nearly 300 people underneath a D-shaped shallow mound in the vicarage garden. The mound appeared to have been a burial monument linked to the Great Army. A an Anglo Saxon building, possibly a royal mausoleum, was cut down and partially ruined before being turned into a burial chamber. One room was packed with the commingled remains of at least 264 people, around a fifth of whom were women. Four-fifths of the remains were men, mostly aged 18 to 45, with several showing signs of violent injury. During the excavations extensive evidence of a large defensive ditch was also found, and everything pointed to the burials association with the Viking Great Army. But confusingly, initial radiocarbon dates suggested it seemed to contain a mix of bones of different ages, meaning they could not all have been from the Viking Age. When we eat fish or other marine foods, we incorporate carbon into our bones that is much older than in terrestrial foods.
This confuses radiocarbon dates from archaeological bone material, and we need to correct for it by estimating how much seafood each individual ate. A double grave containing two men, the older of whom was buried with a Thor's hammer pendant, a Viking sword, and several other artifacts. Next to them large stones may have held a marker, and the grave was placed near the entrance to the mass grave. At least two of the juveniles have signs of traumatic injury suggesting this may have been a ritual grave, paralleling accounts of sacrificial killings to accompany Viking dead from historical accounts elsewhere in the Viking world. D. Dr. Jarman said, although an interpretation of this grave as sacrificial is uncertain, the deliberate arrangement of these four individuals, the sheep jaw and the possible grave marker in close proximity to the edge of the mound, attests to its relationship to the charnel. All the Vikings had carried out rape and pillage raids in the years before, the Great Viking Army was a coalition of Norse warriors who came together under a unified command to invade the four Anglo-Saxon kingdoms that constituted England in AD 865. It came to conquer and initially landed in East Anglia before spreading out during the 14-year-long campaign 